Kaliningrad region is the most western region in the Russian Federation. It is located on the southeastern coast of the Baltic Sea and shares land borders with several countries of European Union. It will take four hours to get to Vilnius from Kaliningrad and eight hours to get to Berlin by car. The population of Kaliningrad region is over one million people. The population increases by 1% annually. There are 13 institutes providing high professional education in the region. Kaliningrad institutes graduate more than 4,000 specialists per year. There are over 2,000 objects of cultural heritage on the territory of the region. It's appeared to be a place where different epics meet, historical architecture and modern urbanistic design. Thanks to its unique natural landscape and mild Baltic climate, Kaliningrad region tends to be one of the most popular resorts in Russia. Kaliningrad is well known as the capital of Russian surfing. There has been established a new simplified visa regime under which citizens of 53 countries can get e-visa free of charge easily by filling an application online. Nowadays, Kaliningrad region has become a meeting point of Russian and foreign business. You can find here world-class travel services and venues for various events, from business forums to major international festivals and sports competitions. Fast-growing Yantania gambling zones allow gambling fans from Russia and other countries to spend time there. Kaliningrad region today is the center of business activities aimed for Russian and European cooperation. Due to a dynamically developing economy, more and more companies opt for Kaliningrad region and are interested now in implementation of investment projects. The annual foreign trade turnover is over $10 billion, and the volume of investments in fixed assets of companies over the past year amounted to over 130 billion rubles. The most promising areas of economy in Kaliningrad region are considered to be microelectronics, IT, and agriculture. The following large companies are already successfully implementing their investment projects in the region. Avtotor is the car manufacturer producing more than 200,000 vehicles per year. Zodruzhestvo Group of Companies is one of the biggest private investors in the agriculture sector of Russian economy. Kaliningrad Amber Factory is the only plant in Russia mining amber on a commercial scale. Infamed is the modern pharmacological factory producing well-known antiseptic medicine. Shipyard Yantar is a large company and member of the United Shipbuilding Corporation, USC. Technological hub Technopolis GS is a national leading company in the field of innovations. And many others. Kaliningrad region is a special economic zone and its regime applies to the entire territory of the region. A special regime regulates minimal fiscal burden for its residents and for them the rate of insurance contribution from the wage fund can be reduced up to 7.6%. It also has provided profit and property tax exemption during the first six years of project implementation. From the 7th till the 12th year profit tax rate will be estimated as 10%, while the property tax rate will be equal to 1.1%. The exemption period for profit tax becomes effective from the first profit received but not later than within the first three years from the start of the project. Therefore, the exemption period can last up to 15 years, and there is also no land tax during the first five years for special economic zone residents. Federal legislation approved guarantees of invariable business conditions for residents of the special economic zone of the Kaliningrad region. Minimum threshold of investments for the residents of Special Economic Zone of IT industry is 1 million rubles within three years. The unique conditions of Free Customs Zone favorably expand the range of opportunities for implementation of investment projects. For investors of the Kaliningrad region, there is zero customs duty of the import of goods, raw materials, and components into the region. The import VAT has been cancelled and a 180-day deferral of its payments is valid for the export of imported goods to the main territory of Russia. For the projects related to deep processing of imported raw materials, there can be applied a cost compensation mechanism. In order to provide a comfortable business environment for attracting capital from foreign jurisdictions, a special administrative district has been created in the Karliningrad region. A special order for business processes was introduced on Oktyabrsky Island. It guarantees flexible tax and currency regulation regime for international companies. Launch the production. Land plots are offered in industrial parks equipped with all the necessary infrastructure. Kravrovo Industrial Park is the westernmost industrial site in Russia and is best suited for export-oriented industries. Chernyakovsk Industrial Park is the largest industrial site of the Kaliningrad region. 
designed to accommodate large logistics, transport, and production projects. The Kaliningrad region has a well-developed transport infrastructure that combines roads, railways, waterways, and airways. The main feature of the Kaliningrad Railway is the fact that it combines two different types of track gauges. This makes the region one of the transit hubs between east and west. Transit time from Kaliningrad to Chongqing is 8 days. Road infrastructure of the region is 9,092.1 kilometers of modern roadbed. The density of the road is 600,000 square kilometers. Two branches of Trans-European Transport Network with 16 operating checkpoints pass through the territory of the region. Air transportation is carried out through the modern terminal of Kravrova International Airport. The geography of flights is expanding annually. Passenger service capacity is over 3.5 million people per year and the volume of cargo turnover up to 50 tons per day. The port infrastructure of the Kaliningrad region allows carrying out trade operations all over the world. There is a railway ferry complex in Baltisk. Its design capacity is 5.3 million tons of cargo per year. The Big Coast is a whole complex of investment projects aimed at the development of tourism potential of the Kaliningrad region and related infrastructure. These are projects on the Baltic coast, development of the gambling area and road network, construction of a terminal in Pionersky, and realization of a bicycle lane project from the Kuronian Spit to the Baltic Spit. The House of Soviets is one of the most recognizable buildings in the center of Kaliningrad. Its construction started in 1970. Now this building belongs to the government of the Kaliningrad region, which plans to move there after reconstruction. Reconstruction of the House of Soviets will be financed by means of funds raised from sale of the adjacent land plot and buildings currently occupied by the Kaliningrad region authorities. The Museum Quarter is a new cultural and tourist space in the center of Kaliningrad. It will unite leading museum institutions and sites of the historical part of the city, located along the Bregolia River embankment and forming pedestrian and river tourist routes. Implementation of this project creates conditions for the development of hotel and restaurant business, as well as related tourism services. Oktyabrsky Island is a major development project for the integrated development of a new business center in Kaliningrad. The project proposes a mid-level concept of creating a comfortable urban environment. The territory of Oktyabrsky Island forms a special administrative district with a new tax jurisdiction that provides comfortable attraction of foreign investment. Inland Port is a major logistics project based on the unique intersection of two different types of railway track gauges. The growing cargo transit between Asia and Europe creates suitable conditions for the development of transshipment capacities in the Kaliningrad region, with the possibility of placing manufacturing facilities in close proximity to the logistics hub. Krabrova Industrial Park is the westernmost industrial site of the Russian Federation that is fully equipped with engineering and road transport infrastructure. The combination of the region's logistic capabilities with its convenient geographical location makes it possible to locate export-oriented enterprises that use foreign raw materials and components in their production processes. The Antania Gambling Zone is located on the Baltic Sea coast. Annually growing tourist flow and modern transport infrastructure create ideal conditions for implementation of gambling projects. Casino Sobrania is operating on the territory of the Gambling Zone. Plots of land for gambling establishments are available for rent. IT Village is a territory of creative industries and unique creative atmosphere of the Baltic Sea coast. It is planned to create an educational campus, a business center with an exhibition and congress zones, and develop hotel infrastructure within the framework of this project. IT Park is a project aimed at creating a modern technology park in the central part of Kaliningrad focused on companies in the IT sphere. The project is designed to meet the demand of IT companies for modern office space with large floor area. Over the last two decades, the region's unique geographical and tax advantages have already been enjoyed by hundreds of Russian and dozens of foreign entrepreneurs. 
government instruments for subsidizing investment projects are constantly being improved, thus creating conditions for sustainable economic development. Feel the business climate of the Baltic coast.